Welcome back to another edition of Dante's Dark Souls 3 Tournament Signups. That's right, it's been a little bit since I've done a tournament, unfortunately. I know it's, uh, I want to do more, but it's tough. Either way, I'm back, and this time, and we have an oldie, but a goodie. Dark Souls 3, no HUD mode, February 23rd, Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a weird time. It's a weird tournament, and I'm excited about it. So let's just run through the rules, shall we, real quick. Either way, turn off your HUD. That's it. Now, there's three options in the menu. In case you guys didn't know, you can have your HUD on. You can have your HUD off. Or you can have it on only when you interact with things. Um, now, HUD, if you don't know, means heads up display. So it's your health bar, it's your stamina, it's your FP, it's all that stuff. It's it's everything on screen that isn't your character and the surroundings. It's essentially menu stuff that you don't go in the menu. You know, y you already know what it means, but I'm just saying it to clarify. Either way, no HUD mode. Bring it back. I did tournaments like this in Dark Souls uh, 2, and it was a lot of fun. And when you play, it sort of makes you play interestingly and i'm very excited to see what people how people play and how people make mistakes because mistakes are pretty interesting a lot of people think oh i thought i had more stamina than that i didn't know because well i can't see it so maybe i was a little bit too aggressive there and i got punished for it and it is exciting to see the mistakes and see what people do either way february 23rd friday 5 p.m eastern standard time that's new york to florida and down um get on it you know it's it's what two o'clock for people on the west coast it's 10 o'clock for people in england stuff like that um so i'm trying to encompass a lot of people here but i feel like five o'clock is pretty good for the eastern uh, hopefully people on the west coast can can uh, get on here but uh either way no hud mode is just very interesting to me it's i, I feel like it's the it, i don't know it just because everybody plays with it and everybody takes it for granted right so what happens if it's taken away do you know your character do you know your your hot bar well enough to know oh crap here are my knives or here is my uh ash and estus or whatnot i just find it very interesting to see if people can deal with not knowing their stamina or not knowing their health and only knowing their opponent's health it's just very curious to see if people actually count you know the hits or if they count the stamina uh whiffs or times they attack with the weapons they use or their opponents and that's what excites me either way again and i'll say it again and again and again you turn your hut off for the friday tournament 5 p.m eastern standard time february 23rd 2018 i'm finally bringing it back it's a classic obviously on playstation 4 only because that's what i have it for though i do have it on xbox but the community seems to be a little bit lacking there you know whatever either way you must message me prior to the tournament and you must be like hey bro buddy broski let me be in the tournament message me on psn right here message me be like i want to be in it you don't need to be my friend i would rather you friend me so i can you know sort of clump you guys together a little bit better and then i'll put you in a special group chat through playstation network and that's where all the combatants will be and then we'll go from there but either way message me i'll put you in the tournament no big deal level 110 to 130 you could be level 110 or you could be level 130 or anything in between no big deal um these fights will be taking place at high wall of lothric i like the small area and one thing i, I really appreciate about it is that it really is going to press people to know their stamina and know their health do i have enough of either can i go in for the kill should i go in for the killer why is my opponent being super aggressive do i not have that much health it's interesting game in itself i i don't know i just find it uh quite intriguing to be uh to be honest um one thing about this this is the honor system so there will be no prize unless someone specifically donates on twitch.tv forward slash dante wtfun because it is the honor system i can't prove you did or did not use your hud during the tournament obviously this is for fun we want to make it competitive, but we also want to make it fun. So, you know, just if, if you're going to join the tournament, please try to be honorable, honor brew. And if you do make a mistake or something, just tell something. Like, I, you know, I, I've done this tournament in the past, and I've had people make the mistake 
um, of they they put it on to mess around with their menu and stuff like that, and then they they took they didn't they forgot to take it off, um, which you know people make mistakes. So if that's the case, just tell somebody. I'll try to be a little bit more lenient, but you know obviously do the best you can to turn it off and just keep it off. Hopefully, you won't need the HUD as much to get back in the world and stuff like that. Because uh, when you use it so often and so long, it's just there. You know you take it for granted. So yeah. Either way, again, PlayStation 4. Uh, this is going to be an either eight-man uh, double elimination tournament or 16-man single elimination tournament. It depends on how many people we get. I, I like to, I like double elimination better personally because I feel like it shows who actually is better. Can somebody come back? Blah blah blah. It's, it's interesting redemption story, if you will. But you know, single elimination is fine. It's all to keep it down to about at most three hours uh, for a tournament. I've had you know long long tournaments uh in the past but you know i'm trying to keep it down you know keep it a little bit low and all contingent on whether people show up or not and uh that it's it's people dependent people show up they put their sign down everything's good i like it but if they don't and they waste people's time that sucks so if you can't make it don't sign up if you want to make it and can't make it don't sign up don't just don't waste people's time but if you want to be there and you can be there please tell anybody doesn't matter how good or bad you are I want you in the tournament if you want to have fun if you want to do no HUD use whatever the hell weapon you want I'm excited for it especially if you're mage I will be super extremely impressed <laughs> okay because that's a lot of hot bar stuff you got to do um, if you don't read the rules you're subject to termination blah 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 you know all this stuff again I wonder what time it starts oh yeah Friday February 23rd, 2018, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, streaming on twitch.tv forward slash Dante WTFUN, please. All right, let's go to the ban list. Uh, ban list is pretty typical for what I ban anyway. Uh, we have Perseverance Swapping. This is sort of a new-ish thing I've been putting in, but uh, I, luckily I haven't had the need to ban it, but I will ban it for this tournament. Uh, I just think it's, it's too good to where you... The only way to combat it is the sort of the same thing and with high wall being so small um you can't really run away from it well so uh, yeah um carthus blood ring that's a stand everybody bans that because it's just annoying uh, all consumables that will take away status effects i.e purple moss clump blood red moss clump now i always say this because now uh, actually can you see your build up if you have no hud i actually don't know about that um I I always put well I want to put this in there because um, too often it's too easy to take a clump if you're poisoned or something so essentially to me that's like healing you're healing off somebody's work I think that's crap so that's why that's banned uh, Sun Princess Ring any health regeneration buffers not inherent in a weapon so like Smo it gives you like two uh, two HP each hit or something like that like that's allowed because that's already inherent in the weapon you can't do anything about obviously that's only if you use that so no healing of any kind no regeneration um, tears of denial because that's just the corniest of the corn am I right come on you have a billion damage and you'll still survive yeah whatever <clears throat> um, also I just want to mention that you know with tears of denial banned and all this health regen Ash and Estus is not banned. You can use as much as you want. If you want to stack 10 and then just spam whatever, that's fine. Um, uh, also, please fight without the HUD on. Obviously, it's an honor system here. If you accidentally have it on, please tell someone. Like, just don't have it on, right? Uh, if the fight ends in a draw, we'll simply restart the match. No big deal. If your match is up, we have a small time frame to actually come and fight or you will lose your round. If there are any other matches that can happen aside from it, I'll try to bide my time. But if I can't, you're going to have to take a disqualification and take the loss. And if it's not double elimination, then you're out of the tournament. So you can't show up. Or if you don't know, obviously family things can happen and people cannot. They, no one knows where life is going to bring you. So I get it. If you can't, at least try to tell me in some way. I would appreciate that. Either way, February 23rd, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Friday. A Friday tournament. Who's excited? I don't know. I think it's the first Friday tournament I've ever done. I'm excited. Tell your friends. Tell anyone to join. I'm excited for this. No HUD mode. I'll be there, of course, obviously. And uh, hopefully I'll see you there too. So like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. And I will be back.